So this awesome, awesome table full of meat were my meat markdowns I got today at Target. I'm always so jealous when I see you guys getting these awesome meat deals at, I think it's called Save-A-Lot or something like that, or whatever grocery stores. But today was my turn. Today I got such awesome meat deals. I will save this end for last. And I'm going to start here. And yes, I'm filming and my dog needs a drink. So that is what you hear. As soon as I get the camera out, the dog needs a drink of water. It's hilarious. This is one and a half pounds of bone-in thin cut pork chops. Do you see this? A five dollars and fifty two cents regularly and I got five dollars off making that seventy two cents and package number two five dollars and fifty cents with five dollars off makes that fifty cents for a pack of pork chops and I was shopping with another woman. I didn't know her, but we split all these meat markdowns. There were probably four more of these that I shared with another woman who was looking and asked her if she wanted them. And she was very happy to get them. Deal number two. This is bacon wrapped chicken breasts Stuff with jalapeno cream cheese. I mean, yum. $7.99, $5 off. I got that for $2.99. And package number two was bacon cheddar stuffed pork chops. And those were also $2.99. Regularly $7.99. Those four packages of meat cost me seven twenty. Seat number two. Beef shaved steak was six forty nine with five dollars off, making each of these a dollar forty nine. And I was able to get three of those. That was the first thing I actually picked up. And then I saw this. Teriyaki beef sirloin strips. This also was on sale for $6.49, $5 off. So I got that for $1.49. All right, receipt number three. They have these Tyson Roasts. They are a slow cooker kit chicken with vegetables. And the chicken's all seasoned. And they were buy one, get one, half off. And then they each had a $5 coupon on it. And I don't know how their computer works. But they rang up two for four sixty eight each. So I will take that. That's a good deal. Four dollars and sixty eight cents for each of these. And they had been fourteen ninety nine. And I'm actually just gonna throw these in the crock pot right now. And we'll have that for supper with leftovers. My final super deal is Smart Chicken Wings. I will show you the price on these. They're no antibiotic ever. Party Wings. Smart Chicken. And that package costs $5.23 and $5 off. So I got that for 23 cents. 
I got this one for 27 cents. That one for 23 cents. 31 cents. Another 27 cents. This one was 15 cents. And another 15 cents. And the real thing that was kind of crazy about these is look at when they expire. Today is March 1st. And they say sell by 311. I'm wondering if the person didn't see that right. I don't know. Win-win for me either way. So that is everything I got for $24 to stock my family up on meat for this week and next week. I'm So I went and visited my daughter this past week, which means I went to my favorite discount grocery store. It's about an hour and a half from my house in Fridley, Minnesota, and it did not dis disappoint me once again. <laughs> this is not even everything I bought um, because I was up at my daughter's and some of the things I left with her. Some of the things we ate and some of them I packaged up and froze them. But I'll kind of tell you about that. So we'll start back here. This is a case of Cape Cod sea salt and cracked pepper chips. They're pretty big bags. Um, two and a half ounces. That entire case cost $1.99. And if you're wondering about the date, they were February 13th. And I was there on about February 15th. So uh, they, I tasted them. They don't taste stale. And I, I think that we've got for sure a couple weeks to go on those chips and they will be just fine. For $1.99, I was gonna take the chance and they're delicious, they're a kettle chip. This bag of chips was $5.99 and you can see it's a 18 pack and that one is in date. That one we have until the end of March. So we have plenty of time with that. Even though this is Halloween themed, it is still in date. <laughs> it's a Boom Chicka Pop Sweet and Salty Kettle Corn, and that was also $1.50. I love their produce. I always buy these little uh, cherry tomatoes, and they're a dollar each. So far, every time I've gone in, they've been there. I got a thing of peppers for $1.99. These onions were a dollar a bag, and I like how small they are. If I need two, I can cut two, but if I just need part of, you know, what would normally be a, a, a half of a large onion, I have just a small one. And they're perfectly fresh. These big pack of Thomas Nook and Cranny Bagels was a dollar. Uh, there are eight great big huge bagels in there. I think those are just like overbuys or something. There's their, again, they're in date. I don't know why. Why? I bought two of these. They were a dollar each. Fudge covered Nutter Butters. So I left one with my daughter. My daughter is not a coffee drinker so I had to buy a few items that she didn't have on hand at her apartment. So I got this equal French vanilla. It's, it's really good. This is another item we have until July to eat. And it is uh, summer. Fook. 
because it is a beef summer sausage and it's 10 ounces and that was only a dollar. They had these beautiful tulip plants and they were $4.99 and I thought it would be a nice thing for my daughter's apartment so I bought her one. And the funny thing is it came with a free cheesecake. <laughs> oh, you gotta love that. So this is the cheesecake I got, New York style chocolate peppermint cheesecake. So I threw that in the freezer so that'll last. These pie crusts, same thing, I threw these in the freezer and they'll last a long time in there. They were two for a dollar. And I got two big things of Reynolds Wrap Heavy Duty 75 foot for $2.99 each. And these are the real long ones, which are nice when you're, especially when you're grilling. So I'm going to show you this receipt and tell you the other stuff I bought that isn't here. So they had yellow peppers, two for a dollar. Um, oh, I bought four loaves of Udi's white bread at $1.99 each. One loaf in my store costs $4.99. So that is always a super deal. They had the Starbucks, just the individual packets, three for a dollar, and that's all I needed for uh, my daughter's house. They had packs of green peppers. They were wrapped three in a pack and I bought two of those. They had all their mushrooms three for a dollar. So I bought six of them and just chopped them up individually and froze them. I bought my daughter some shampoo and some vitamins. They were both $2.99 each which was a good deal. So at Mike's discount, I spent $56.84 and I got all this stuff plus a lot more. Plus I just had fun. I love going to Mike's discount grocery. So my grocery haul this week came from Hy-Vee and I did some major stock up because this is the sale they had. For every item you bought, you got one cent back in gasoline up to 20 gallons, which comes to 20 cents. And it didn't matter what you bought. So if you bought something that cost 28 cents, you still got one cent back in gas. So you'd be paying about eight cents for that item. If you bought something that cost $2.99, you'd get one cent back. So they also had some really good deals at the same time. As you can see, their pasta was only 69 cents. That made it 49. And their canned tomatoes and beans were 19 cents after you had the gas. Same with the bread. The soda ended up being 29 cents. Anyway, I did some stock up. I should say I did a lot of stock up. <laughs> and I will show you everything. Here is everything I got. Isn't that crazy? When we start showing you the prices, wait till you see that. I'm going to start down here. So the pasta was all 69 cents. And then for each one I got 20 cents back in gas. I got some elbow macaroni. Some rotel, linguine. Some angel hair pasta. 
I've got this so that I can never pronounce. Got four boxes of that. That's one of our favorites, and we didn't have any of that. I found gluten free Oreos again. So I got two of those. My husband likes to double stuff if I can find them. Diced tomatoes were on sale for 39 cents. And not to be a broken record, but 20 cents back on gas. So I really stocked up on those. Those are the diced tomatoes Italian style. I got six of those. Diced tomatoes with garlic and olive oil. I got four of those. And all these are only 19 cents a can. So you can kind of see why I went nuts. I got two of them with roasted garlic and onions. Over there here I got eight of the chili ready tomatoes and five of the diced tomatoes with green chilies. Then I decided to get four cans of the chili ready beans. I pretty had a pretty decent stock of those. But those were also 19 cents. Then I decided I needed some refried beans, so I got six of those. They were on sale for 77 cents, so that brought them down to 57 cents. I needed a new seasoning salt, and that was $2.99 making it to 79 and this is for a recipe I just needed it some hoisin sauce now peanut butter their peanut butter was on sale this week for 99 cents so I got it for 79 cents I got four of those corn chips I got, I got three bags of corn chips. They were on sale for 99 cents. So I got them for 79 cents. I decided to get four loaves of bread. They ended up being 19 cents each after the gas discount. So I've got to come up with some recipes for some bread or we'll have uh, maybe some French toast. That'd be a good idea. I might do that. That actually sounds really good. The pudding. The pudding was on sale for 88 cents so I got it for 68 cents. We needed some soy sauce. So I got that. I got some more uh, baking cups for muffins. I got those for 79 after the discount. I got these bananas for 78 cents. We might have eaten a couple already, but this week they had their progressive soup on sale for 99 cents. I got two of lasagna style soups. I got five of the New England clam chowder and I also got three of the creamy mushroom. Then I got these for 30 cents, three cans of just some chicken noodle soup <laughs> and I got 13 boxes of corn mix which ended up being 29 cents a box. Um, we love Johnny Cake. We like to have that with chili, all that stuff. I got two bags of oyster crackers to have with soup. Those ended up being 68 cents each. And we were totally out of this boxed mac and cheese. 
They were 19 cents a box. I got 20 boxes of those. Sorry, it's a little dark. I think the sun just went under a cloud. Oh well. I got one box of fruit snacks because I needed it. <laughs> These were all on sale. These chips. They ended up being 79 cents after um, the gas discount. I got four barbecue and I think I had three of the sour cream and onion. But they've been nibbled on a little bit. I got two of these Laughing Cow Cheeses just because we wanted them. This was a clearance markdown and it looked good. I think it was marked $1.50. Pad Thai sauce. And for my family, it says gluten free right there. The baking soda. Same thing. I think it was like around 59 cents and then you got the 20 cents back and we needed some. Their cereal ended up being 79 cents a box. I got one of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch and two of the Cocoa Peanut Butter Spears. So those will be good. Can't really go wrong for that cheap. This was my crazy deal here. I decided to get 20 cans of the tomato sauce. Those were 8 cents each. Isn't that crazy? They're just the small cans, but for 8 cents, I think uh, that's a, a, great, a great buy. The Hy-Vee soda was on sale for 49 cents and after the discount that was 29 cents so we'll have some root beer I got four of those now I am going to put this away and get out the items that I bought that are in the refrigerator because my table was too full here is the rest of my Hy-Vee haul that I earned 20 cents for every uh, high V item that I bought in gas. So I picked up a couple packs of tortillas. These was a coupon I loaded that was on my card and it was buy one get one and these were on sale for two dollars each. So, I got those for a dollar a bag. So that was a real good deal. This was just something we needed that was on sale. $3.99 for some chicken nuggets. Makes a nice quick lunch. Same with this. I just needed some sliced cheese. I did get 20 cents for it, but I think it was like $2.99. So, not the best deal, but something we needed. These biscuits, I think they were around 59 cents and then the 20 cents back. There's a recipe we like to make. It's called pop-up pizza and it's on Pinterest and essentially you just chop these up and put them with some pasta sauce and cheese and bake it. It's really good and simple and very kid friendly. Frozen vegetables were on sale for 88 cents and then I got the 20 cents back making them 68 cents each. Every time we have a meal we usually eat about two, veg two bags of the vegetables. So they go pretty fast. Um, we're not huge fruit eaters but we eat tons of vegetables. So in their ad this week, I will show you a picture of it. In their ad this week, they had their large eggs on sale for 98 cents. Then you would have gotten that 20 cents back and that would have made them 78 cents. But these, that smart eggs, 
which is also a high V brand, were only 78 cents. And then you got your 20 cents back. So I got four dozen for 58 cents each, which is a better deal, um, pretty much the same eggs. So this week's menu plan, we had shrimp, mashed potatoes, salad, and carrots. I made that Sprite chicken finally. We had it with squash, sweet potatoes, and fresh veggies. It was okay. I don't I, I'm not gonna make that Sprite chicken again, just just so you know. We had Frito enchilada bake on Wednesday with salsa. This was delicious. That is on the Frito website. If you Google Frito enchilada bake, that was very good. Thursday I made sheet pan fajitas and Friday we had hamburgers. I made um, Big Mac burgers and waffle fries. Saturday I made stuffed green chili meatballs and rice. I will put that recipe at the end of this video because that is an incredibly delicious recipe. And Sunday we had crazy crust pizza, salad, grapes, and we were going to make s'mores but we were too full. <laughs> so we'll have to have s'mores another night. And that was our meal menu plan from February 22nd to the 29th. Hope that helps you with some ideas of what to cook your family for dinner. And I'll see you next week with my grocery haul and menu plan. And thanks for watching. Did you want to say hi, Oliver? <laughs> Sit nice. Oh, you're going to be pretty for your fans. Say hello everybody. My name is Oliver. Oh, what do you see? Any friends out there? It's getting warmer out so the dogs can go outside again without their paws freezing. Warmer for us Minnesotans. It is in the 20s so we think that's warm and it's definitely dogs are able to play outside in that weather. At least Minnesota dogs are. Say please subscribe to my mom's channel and hit the like button and comment down below if you have a dog and what kind it is. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.